Welcome to Anne Marie's workshop. My name is Anne Marie and I love to make things with joy. If you like to make things with joy too, or just watch people making things with joy, you have come to the right place. Please like, subscribe, and share. Press that button. Come on. All right, so welcome to my anatomy of a dress. This is part of my hashtag so reversible 2023 challenge that I posted for the month of August, where I take a few patterns that I love and make them reversible. I like to make things reversible a lot in different things, not all the everything, but some things. And so I chose this pattern because it is one of my favorite dress patterns. So the pattern I'm gonna talk about today is Vogue 9237. I'm gonna show you all the iterations I've made of it over here or over here. I'm not sure where, but I think I've made maybe four or five of them. Some have toddled off with different people, but it's one of my favorite patterns. And because it has such simple lines, straight in the front, a little gather in the back, short sleeves, round neck, simple, very quick make, it's ideal for reversing. So let me show you my reversal dress. Now here she is. She is a cute little tent dress. Let me rotate her around for you. Very simple lines. A little gather in the back. Whoa, isn't it fabulous? And two very, very healthy pockets. But you know, that's not the best thing about this dress. Now, when this dress flips, it turns into the little black dress that can do anything. Let me spin her around for you. Same dress, simple lines, little ruffle in the back, light and breezy. All right, so now tomorrow, when I style her, you will see what the power of the little black dress is. Now you might say, Anne-Marie, I don't know. It looks kind of plain and boring. Oh no, oh no, au contraire, mon frere. Let me show you everything it can do. Wait, tomorrow. Today is about the anatomy. How did I put these two dresses together? So let me show you some of the points and some of the hacks. All right, so let's start with the very first thing. Simple lines. This is a front, uh, this pattern uh, consists of a front, a back, a, 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 um, a gathered um, skirt bottom, a sleeve, and a pocket. So your ability to reverse it is highly um, uh, advantaged by this. So it's very, very, very easy to make. So let me show you inside some of the things I put into this pattern to make it work. A lot of them are in my 10 hacks um, video. You've seen them before, but let me show you them again. Okay, so first things first, I cut this pattern out two times in two fabrics and I made sure that the fabrics went together. This is this this is this faux Ankara fabric and it has this beautiful imprint on it and it feels very supple but is not 100% cotton. Matter of fact, I would hazard to think there's any cotton in this fabric at all. I think it is the 50% spandex, 30% nylon, 20% polyester blend that I found in some of the Ankara fabrics. It gives you this beautiful um, um, flow, um, punch of color, um, but it is not the true 100% on Ankara. It, and it gives you the simulation of wax that does not wash out, but it's still supple. This fabric is much cheaper than Ankara, so it's really kind of, um, I've worn it, and I don't find a difference in the heat 
like the heat index, how hot it makes me feel. So it, it's, it's a real win um, for us fabric buyers and all the options that we'll see. Now, I paired this Ankara fabric with this almost light featherweight polyester blend black fabric. You can kind of see through it. So it's not something that you would necessarily wear all by itself, but being backed by another fabric, you can barely see the pattern through it, but it gives you two different looks. Now, secondly, if you have watched my 10 hacks video, video, you know that I like to use a little line of either piping or pom-poms or lace in between my two layers on a gown. It is one of the finishes that you can make. It helps delineate a line between one color and the other. And I, I just love these little tiny pom-poms. Actually, I love the big giant pom-poms, but because I'm 60, I'm trying to restrain myself. So that's what I used to put each fabric on its own side. And then I, then I stitched so close, you can barely see it to hold it in place. I, and on this dress, I did it on the neck and I did it on the sleeves. And I chose this, um, I chose this rather than using another hack that I use, which is fusible webbing in the seam. I chose it because this was such a floaty fabric that I really wanted to anchor the um, edge where these two fabrics join. Now, another thing I showed in the other um, the videos that I've done so far is that very often, sometimes I like to encase my hem in bias tape simply because different fabrics grow at different rate, rates. So I believe that this fabric has some more growing to do as it gets washed and laundered and stuff like that. So I might have to change the hem so that this is not dragging below this. I have hung it for several days for it to expand, but I still believe that when I wash it and I've worn it a few times that I might have to come back and take this bias tape off and alter them so that they will match. But I don't mind a little black showing at the bottom because of this bias tape. I don't mind a little black showing. Now I would mind more I think on the other side if I had a lot of red showing at the bottom because that's going to take away my power of using my little black dress. Now another hack that I've talked about on my um, 10 hacks video is the fact that I, when I'm reversing, I do not put two pockets on the same side. In other words, I put one pocket on the left of um, a garment, uh, this garment, and then on the black reverse garment, I would place the pocket on the right so that you do get two pockets, but they are not beside each other bunching up in the seams and making your clothes not hang right. So this pocket is on this side and on the other side, the pocket is on the black reversed fabric. So there's no pocket on this side, but when you flip it around, there's a pocket on this side in the black fabric. Now, one of the hacks that was specific to this, um, to this garment was that I included shoulder pads. My shoulders slope and I just put a little soft shoulder pad inside, which I attached in the seams of the heavier fabric. I did not attach this on the, um, the black fabric, which was very, very floaty. I attached it to the seams of the Ankara fabric because it could hold it without any dimpling. And I stitched it to the, I, um, I, 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 st I stitched it to the inner seam. All right, and then the last thing I did on this dress is that the double zipper. There's a zipper on this side and there's a zipper on the other side. All right, it's very, very simple and they're, the, they're enclosed inside, this, inside the hem, not the hem, the seam, all right? So when you zip on this side, you can leave the other side open. Nobody's gonna see it inside your dress, but it zips separately. So this zip is black 
to match this fabric and this zip is red to match this fabric. Um, I started using this effect on some of my reversible things that I did because sometimes I could not find a zipper that complemented both sides. Now, when you see my charm uh, dresses that I do, sometimes I want the zipper to show. So I will not have covered up the zipper in a regular um, zipper placement. I will have stitched and, and let there be a, um, the zipper be exposed so that you can see the color. So sometimes you'll see a bright, bright pop of the of pink on a gray um, dress. And then on the reverse side, the pink actually goes with that dress. So this is specific to this dress, but it's really great because you do have the back up the other side. So sometimes you might not need that catch that I, us I usually put on um, garments to keep them in place. I have to say, I do not know where the pattern gods have hidden my pattern envelope. Like I said, I've made quite a number of these dresses. And for some reason, I have the inside of the pattern, but I cannot find <laughs> the pattern envelope. So I will pull it off. I think I have it in my pictures. I'll pull it off and insert it right here. You have seen it. It's, I think, a Vogue Easy design. It is still in the book. I absolutely love it. The next one I think I'm going to make, I think I'm going to keep the sleeves, maybe balloon the sleeves. I don't know, but I'm going to put a V in it. We'll see. I'll let you, um, you'll see that in the, in, in the future. But I hope you enjoyed this. Um, this is the anatomy of a tent dress. And please stay tuned tomorrow for when I style the dress so you can see the different possibilities. Um, I can't wait for you to see the little black dress. Everybody should have one in their closet. All right. I hope you're having fun coming up with different ideas to reverse. I love seeing your ideas. And, oh, let me see. This is day eight. Where's the time going? I still have other things that I'm wanting to make because I like it. All right, I hope you're getting to do all the reverse garments that you like to do. Remember, you can enter more than once. All right, every time you do something different, I sure will put your name in my fishbowl. All right, take care. Keep reversing. Bye.